we're saving the best video for last. Yes, this is what the rain looked like from our Penguin Air News Chopper. This is the view from the sky. Great view, I have to say, courtesy of our very own Bruce Hafner. And yes, a lot of plate people out there might be uh, chuckling a little bit because, yes, we are reporting on the rain, but you know what? We haven't seen it in a while in the valley. And that means, you know, for folks out there, we're not really used to this all that often. Um, give yourself a few extra minutes on the roads and use a little caution as well. Reporting live in downtown Phoenix, Kylie Cruz, CBS 5 News. Kylie, thank you so much. Okay, so <laughs> let's see how long this is going to stick around and what it's going to do for uh, the high country and the valley. Paul. Hey, we're talking snowfall, Nicole. Pretty good amount of snow. The radar on my Twitter account. Off today and no doubt enjoying the snow. You look back to Ferguson over police brutality and whether or not there's been too much excessive force being used. And that is why this issue is coming up again. You see with this story, although this one is different than what we saw in Ferguson from what we can tell right now. Yeah, it's early in the investigation. Stephanie Elam, you're on top of it for us. Thank you. Now, after this deadly shooting, one of the officers was then heckled as he approached bystanders to push them back. He was slammed with a barrage of insults. Listen to this. Oh, That's the one that killed you right there. Eight zero witness. Phoenix police now have a suspect sketch to work with to help them catch a killer. Police say time now for our 2016 power index where we look at who's up and who's down in the race for the White House. Each week we handicap the top and Chris Starwalt. He's Fox News digital politics editor and the author of Fox News First. He's also our prognosticator for the power index and he joins me now. <laughs> Good morning. Yes, Good afternoon. Yes. I remember seeing uh, didn't Johnny Carson used to do that? Karnak, uh, he would yes. hold the envelope up to his head and cover. I don't have an envelope though. Next you week, need to I get will one. get an envelope. Okay, that'll be, that'll be your prop next week. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about you have three new names today. Who's up and who's down? Let's start with Carly Fiorina. Well, she makes her debut in the top 10. 